You've experienced changing the view to the home view and you've used a few of the commands in the navigation bar. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to customize the home view. You'll learn about the view cube and you'll learn a few more commands in the navigation bar. By default, the home view command sets the view to the standard isometric view, but you can modify the home view to any view you prefer. First, I'll show you how to use the view cube and then I'll show you how to change the home view. The view cube can be used to change the current view in the graphics area. All you have to do is click a section of the cube to change the view. When the view is a normal view, you can click the arrows above the cube to rotate the view 90 degrees. The standard isometric view is a view from the corner of the top, front, and right side of the view cube. And currently this is the same view as the home view. If you select a different section of the cube and then click the home view icon, the view returns to the isometric view. One difference between selecting the corner of the cube and selecting the home view icon is the home view icon zooms into the part, while the corner of the cube doesn't zoom to fit the screen. You can control whether or not the home view zooms into the part, and you can specify the view itself. Take a moment to practice using the view cube and the home view icon. When you're finished, we'll set the home view to a view other than the isometric view. To change the home view, set the view to a new view and zoom out a little so you can see the differences in the settings. Now right click on the home view icon and then highlight set current view as home. You have two options for setting this view as the home view, so let's see how each setting works. First, select the fit to view option. Now click the home view icon. The view zooms in to fit the part in the graphics area. Now zoom out and we'll use the other option. Right click on the home view icon, highlight set current view as home, and then select fixed distance. Now zoom into the part and then click the home view icon. As you can see the fixed distance option sets the home view to a constant distance. The factory set home view is the view used in this course. It's the view from the corner of the top, front, and right sides of the view cube, and the zoom option is the fit to view option. Go ahead and set the home view to this setting. This is the default setting for the home view, so if you didn't modify the home view, you don't have to modify it now. This view is typically called the standard isometric view, so from this point on in the course we'll refer to it as the isometric view. Now let's look at the free orbit command in the navigation bar. When you click the command, the orbit symbol is displayed on the screen. With this command, you can place your pointer inside the orbit symbol to rotate the view. Hold your left mouse button down while you drag your pointer on the screen. To center the rotation on the end of the pin, select the end of the pin. Now the center of rotation is on the end of the pin. You can also rotate the view in a plane by placing your pointer near one of the axes and then drag your left mouse button across the view. To rotate the view in the current plane, place your pointer on the outside of the circle and then drag your pointer. Type the escape key to exit the mode. 